that you've just seen me uh, fettling with is 50 by 50 angle iron by six. And this is going to replace this to this. Now you're thinking, why? Why have I changed that? Well, a couple of reasons. One, it's gonna give us a little bit more rigidity. And two, it's got a decent piece of metal for me to attach the arm that goes to the pivot point on the floor of the chassis. Now this really is turning into a two steps forward and three steps back kind of project because having no updated drawings to work from we're kind of having to make things up as we go along because the rear pony truck on the actual Tinkerbell well it wouldn't be much use if it was a chocolate fire guard I've placed in the two front wheel sets I put the uh, right correct spacing of the suspension, well the springs, we've tacked together our pony truck and I've put the wheel in and I've come up with a slight issue, I'll bring you in. Now I've put the uh, the plate that it's going to be rubbing against, well it shouldn't actually be rubbing against, that's what issue number one. So I've put the plate in that is going to support this when it's all done, that's been clamped in, so it's in the right place, but generally. And as you can see, we have zero adjustment because the wheel set has been preloaded on the springs, so there is tension on the springs squashing down, so they're pushing out. And this piece of box section that runs all the way along represents the piece of rail it's just about touching the middle wheel we're like two mil it's touching the front wheel and it's touching the back wheel so we have zero adjustment of this back wheel set which leads me to the next issue now the next issue is this space now because this whole piece is sat down we have very little adjustment so if you can imagine that spinning out that way or this way we're going to foul on here so this idea so far is no good marvellous the following day so I've managed to get to the workshop today and it's uh, very cold and it's very early because over the night I had a bit of a thought about what we can do with the pony truck and I remembered that I'd bought some other wheels currently the wheel that's in the pony truck is a six inch diameter wheel that's over the tread and I have some four and a half inch 
over the tread. Now the only problem is the hole in the middle is too small. So what I'm thinking of doing is pressing off the six inch wheels because I don't have any material to make another axle. All I've got on the shelf is a piece of 50 mil EN8 and a piece of 20 mil EN8 and I don't have anything in between. So that's the only axle I have that's suitable for the bearings that I only have in stock. So press the wheels off bore out the holes in the new wheels to fit the axle on the six inch wheels and that should give us three quarters of an inch beautiful came out no problem Job done. Right, so there we go. That came out really easy. I'm thinking that came out a little too easy. But, who are we to uh, argue? So all we need to do now is make those fit in there, to that shoulder. Hmm, let's hope I have enough equipment to do that with. Right, so that's the high spot there. I think that'll do. coming off there. Now unfortunately I don't have the right size cutters for this boring bar so we've had to kind of wing it a little bit. I do not recommend what I've done here I've got a large cutter because this is the only tip I have that will cut the N8 the screw won't clamp it down so I've had to put another washer in front of it to clamp it down and I I do not recommend it at all uh, I've already done it on one wheel and it worked okay so hopefully it's going to be okay for this wheel but as we're filming it'll probably go completely wrong tight this one so hopefully we can get it in with this uh, 20 ton press if not we'll have to uh, put the wheel in the oven see what happens Tongue up. 
So there we are. We've reduced the wheel size. That should give us a little bit of play on there. So we'll get it dry assembled. But as I thought may happen, the boring bar decided to start mucking about. Hence why we cut that bit short. So that's something we need to add onto the shopping list. A decent set of boring bars and a selection of tips that are gonna suit machining this harder material, especially if we're gonna do any more boring. If you've liked what you've seen, don't forget this, then, and don't forget to hit the notification bell because you'll be notified when we next release a video. And uh, go check this video out here because you may enjoy that one. And uh, this one down here will take you to our channel where we have many videos that could be of interest to you. Now stay safe. Laters.